Alright people, welcome back. Another deck profile for a deck that is being removed for uh, Daily Duels and a new one will be put on. This will pretty much be going on all week, so I hope that you guys enjoy. So today, we are looking at the Gateway Drug deck. This is uh, Speedroids. So, uh, you know, you used to have roids back in, you know, the GX era, but now we took we took your, your, your roids, your steroids that you're on, and now we're going to add another drug, and now you're on speed, right? So, Gateway Drug right here, Speedroid. Uh, this deck is actually getting pretty popular, especially with the new monster that I didn't even get a chance to really even play with on Daily Duels. And I know, I know, I saw you guys' comments, you know, that, that, that pre-preparation of rights, I didn't get to use it. I know, it sucks, but I'm missing cards out of this deck, too. I never got to pull off the, the Crystal Wing, and, of course, in the V-Jump, there, uh, there was a couple of new, or not the V-Jump, but in Shining Victory, there's a couple of new Spearoid monsters. I think there's two in, like, a new Trap card and a new Synchro. I didn't get to play those either, but it's cool, so, I don't know. Maybe on the next poll, I might go ahead and put Speedroids back on there. And if you guys want to put Speedroids back on Daily Duels and we play with the new cards, then that's fine as well. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, part ways with Speedroids for now. I'm going to go ahead and do that profile, give me my opinions about the deck and various cards that i played. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so starting enough, we of course play the three Double Yo-Yo. Double Yo-Yo is good, then he's kind of not good. I mean, uh, he kind of does exactly what uh, Norton job is to kind of do in a sense of course the monsters effect are negated so if you're summoning back you know red eye dice you can't be like all right well you know red eye dice do your thing but you know if it's triad dice you know i just go north and summon triad dice and do the same thing as a uh, double yo-yo but of course double yo-yo is a uh, wolf bark s a wolf bark yeah wolf bark s monster so you gotta run him he's an easy uh sync really he really is just summon summon uh, one of my major problems with the deck is just how many cards would love to have stuff in the graveyard to get started, you know? And it's like, yo, you draw, you draw that double yo-yo and you don't got any uh, three of us in your graveyard, you know, what are you doing? So, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that require some setup so you could see a little bit of a uh, graveyard setup cards in this deck because it's kind of necessary. You need to get in the graveyard before you can actually put in that work. So, uh, you know, double yo-yo is really nice. Uh, you don't want to fill your uh, extra deck too much with uh, wolf bark, so double yo-yo is a nice uh, main deck substitute. Uh, next we have Terra Top, arguably the best speed right in the deck, he's just so good. If you control no monsters, not even if your opponent controls a monster and you don't, just if you control no monsters. So if you go first and you have this, go ahead and special summon him from your hand, that's great. When this card is normal summon or special summon, you add one spirit monster from your deck to your hand, like, except for himself. That's all you good. He's, he's the searcher of the deck, you play three of him, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. And you can only use the effect of uh, Terra Top once per turn. So with this guy and how he's special summoned and getting the searches, you can easily pull off a first turn clearing slash crystalline with just how good he is. Because you can go special summon, search. You go ahead and search for this guy who I'll be talking about in a second. Tribute, special summon one of your, uh, you know, speed raid tuner, tuner monsters. You can only go into win for extra time, which is totally fine. Go ahead and go into your, uh, your clear wing, and you have a normal summon. Like, this was a special summon, this was a special summon. So, if you got that normal summon tri eye dice, you go ahead and normal summon it, and then bam, there is that uh, crystal wing. I've been seeing it done a ton of times lately, ever since uh, Crystal Wing has pretty much been on Dead Pro. A lot of people have been running this deck and pulling off that play, you know, first turn with ease. So, uh, Terra Top is just so good. You run three of him, there's no if, ands, buts about it. Next, uh, we run three. Uh, Take Tom Borg. Uh, this is this is debatable. Some people only run two because you know that restriction where you can only uh, special summon wind monsters uh, if you use an effect attribute to uh, get a tuna monster from your deck. But you know what? That's totally fine because he, he's just so consistent and so good. You gotta run three. Like if you're not running three of him, you're gonna regret it because he actually pulls off the major plays. So if you control the wind monster, you can special summon him from your hand. So he's not normal summon. He's a special summon, and of course. You can search him with Terra Top, which means that you special summon Terra Top to search special summon uh, Takatom Ward. You tribute him to go ahead and special summon a Speedroid Tuna Monster from your deck. You can only special summon one monster for the rest of your turn, so you lose access to a couple of your single monsters. But you literally just want special summon, special summon, tribute, special summon, sync. You just busted out a Clear Wing Synchro Dragon without normal summoning. Like, that is some goodness. That is some goodness right there. So, uh, I don't know what you're doing if you're not playing three of him. He's actually worth the trouble. Uh, you don't have to uh, tribute him to get the Wind Tutor Monster, so if anything, he's just another enabler. Like, you can just be like, Special Summon, search for, you know, uh, Red Eye Dice, Special Summon, Normal Summon, and trish your opponent, you know? You only get that, uh, you can only Special Summon Wind Monsters restriction if you tribute him to get the Speed Right Tutor Monster from your deck. So, uh, he could just be an enabler, another uh, Synchro Material, so definitely you run three Taka Tomborg. He's good. 
Uh, next, I'm running three Triad dice. Uh, it's not the best cards, really. I mean, it's kind of like, uh, uh, what was that card? A Necro Gardener. Just during your opponent's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard to negate the next attack. Thing that makes him good, he's another tuner monster. Um, the deck currently, in the state that it's in, is kind of lacking a tuner and tuner monsters. And I know I saw in Shining Victory that there's another tuner monster, and he's good. He's good. Uh, I'm not going to do a card review on him, so I guess I can just talk about him now. Uh, pretty much, uh, you can go ahead. When he's in the graveyard, he's a level three tuner. I don't remember the stats, but he's level three tuner. So yeah, another level three tuner. Awesome. You can go ahead and banish him while he's in the graveyard to special summon uh, uh, one of your, another speedroid tuner monster from your hand or graveyard. That's that's fantastic. Like that that is like mwah, yes you <laughs> yes all right because you can go ahead and not only special summon these from the graveyard which you know generally they're going to be in the graveyard you could pull them back out and then synchro again but you can also special summon from your hand and just be more of an enabler play so like i said he just helps you pull off the crystal so much better your special summon that terror top search special summon that takaton board tribute special summon him uh sink into clear wing then use the effect banish him special summon another tuna monster from your hand or graveyard and then you know keep pushing so yes you run him he is so good you three three you run three of him too uh, now it's debatable whether you need triad dice, but like I said, you want to keep him consistent. Uh, his effect to go ahead and banish, especially when another tuner can be used on triad dice, red eye dice, so he's definitely good, but triad dice is pretty good as well. Uh, being able to block some attacks, his deck has a pretty good uh, uh, trade with that, uh, along with uh, the level 4 monster. I decided not to run just because he didn't have much synergy, so I decided to be like, meh, uh, I don't really need him, so I decided to go ahead and take him out. Uh, I was running him, and that's why you see like the multiple castells, because uh, I'll temporarily run him, you know, block an attack, and then, you know, see if my tag partner, when he remember this is a tag deck, uh, the spike back row, I did have a version without back row, but in the end, uh, whenever I used it, you know, my tag partners will mostly use back row, and it's kind of, the deck's kind of like, I, I want to use back row, because I love chasing wings so much, but, uh, yeah, so that card's good, and then they had another level 4 monster with 1800 attack, and his effect is simple, but effective, you know, you can go ahead and pitch a machine monster to pop a monster. Sim that simple. It's that simple. But yeah, it's so good because this deck has problems with uh, cards in their hand. They they love this deck loves to get their shit in the graveyard as soon as possible. You get your you get some of your tuners in the graveyard. You revive them back. You continue your plays. And uh, what what a better way to go ahead and get your shit in the graveyard than go ahead and uh, actually not negging with your your pitches and your plays. You know, like not foolishing, but go ahead and even them out. You know, you summon this 18 beater, you're pitching one of your, you know, your, uh, your triad dice or the guy who banishes the special summon tuner, pop, you know, it's that simple. So you can just summon him, use his effect, pitch the, the tuner guy, the other tuner guy, pop one of your opponent's monsters, him banish, special summon one of your, uh, speed or your tuner monsters from your hand or graveyard, and then stick it right up, you know. So definitely, he's good as well. I'm not really sure if you should run three, because, you know, there's some monsters you want to pitch that you don't mind pitching like this, or him, or kind of this, you know, kind of this, but then there's other monsters that you really don't want to pitch, so you gotta just kind of find the right ratio on him, but, you know, he's good, he's good too, so, uh, yeah, I kind of wish I got an opportunity to play those two, but it's fine, like I said, it's gonna be on the next poll for January, and if you guys want it back for, you know, the month of January, uh, the ending half of January to the early half of February, then, hey, more power to you, so, yeah, uh, Red Eye Dice, probably the best tuner. Uh, despite not really having the best effects in comparison, it's literally the enabler for uh, crystalline. You know, it is that level one tuner that you're gonna go ahead and sync with clue and bust this out. So, uh, and just being the kind of like enabler with like when I'm normal summon or special summon, I go ahead and modulate the level so now you're able to pull off uh, other synchro plays from uh, you know sync two all the way up to sync seven. It's just really good. So uh, definitely red eye dice needs to be played as well. Alright, and Mathematician, because, like I said, you want to send these guys to the graveyard, so you can go ahead and revive it back with this, with this, with this, this, like, yeah, so, Mathematician gets the setup, which is totally fine, you know, if I can go, you know, summon Mathematician, go ahead and send me a Triad dice, if the Fusion summon Norton, Norton summon back the Triad dice, there's my clearing right there, so, uh, you know, sending to the graveyard is actually really important, that's, like I said, that's, that's kind of tight, but, you know, Norton is just so good. Norton is just so good. So as long as we have it here in the TCG and you're able to play multiple institutions, multiple Nordens, and just be an enabler to go into more synchro plays, you know, why not? 
So, now we're talking about his defusion, obviously. Uh, one for one. Uh, bust some of that red-eyed dice. You know, that's a, that's a given, you know. If you can bust out that, uh, that clear wing, then playing that yeah, one for one pitching and then summoning that red-eyed dice, there, there you go, there's crystal wing. So, uh, and like I said, you want to get them in the graveyard to provide play, so that's not bad as well. So, just another card to help you out, bust out your best tuner. Regeki, of course, Soul Charge, Foolish, more graveyard setup like Mathematician, uh, two Dark Holes, just you tag that, go ahead and wipe the <laughs> field. I know I'm risking destroying my own sponsors, but you know, this deck, like I said, it's a little bit slow. It starts off a little bit slow uh, if you're not opening up too well in the hand. So if you gotta take it slow, go ahead and set the try to die, get in the graveyard, and you know, if your opponent overextends too much, go ahead, dark hole him, and then bust out that, uh, that crow wing, because why not? I wanted to try this out, uh, Shock Trap. I want to try out one. Uh, sometimes you have some speed ride monsters down in your graveyard that aren't too useful anymore. Uh, you see, there's not too much revival, but. Uh, outside of uh, particular cards that I do want to play. So if I can go ahead and uh, banish two Spirit Monsters to go ahead and target uh, two cards on the field, you know, up to two, I mean, that's fine, you know. Uh, I mean, if anything, it'd, it'd still be a one for one, even if I only banish one. But if I can go ahead and go plus, because uh, Spirit Monsters is my great right on counter resources, that would be a plus one, because I'm playing this, banishing two, popping two, and it's not bad. It's just not the great on cards. I definitely wouldn't recommend playing multiple, because you really don't want to banish your speed right monsters too often. You know, I mean, like if you have like a double yo-yo you got in use of, or, you know, you got multiple red-eyed dice you don't need, or Takatom Borg is, you know, used up his usefulness, then sure, go ahead. But, uh, you know, you don't want to be running with three of this because, like I said, uh, it takes a little while to get your graveyard set up. So, you know, not only does it take a while to get the graveyard set up, but then you're going to banish the card that you just set up. It's just like, no. So, uh, I really wouldn't recommend maybe even not running any of this, but it's kind of like a last second thought. I was like, you know, let me just be a card. Let me try it out. And I really never got the opportunity to. So, yeah, it's, it's debatable. Twin Twister, really great card. Uh, I've been loving this card a lot more lately just because it just seems like so many decks and stuff like that where I would love to get, get my shit in the graveyard, you know. Uh, graveyard's such a good enabler, so what better way to go ahead and get stuff out of my hand? I'm not going to Dark Lord Dune in uh, this day and age. Like, no, I'd rather just go ahead and Twin Twister you. Even if it's Twin Twister to pop one back row, hey, I got what I wanted in the graveyard. So I'm not only like, popping your back row, but I'm also getting stuff in my graveyard as well. So definitely Twin Twister is just really great. And of course, speed recovery. This card's so good. Like, this card is so good. You run three of this, obviously. Not only is it a monster born for your speed ride monsters, but uh, also during your main phase, you have to turn this discard center together. You can banish it to target one speed ride monster in your uh, graveyard and add to your hand. So, it's a monster reborn and it's a monster reincarnation. It's just so good. You run, you run three of that. That's a game. Alright, bottomless then, these parental warning, all of the all of the back row. Yeah. And three notice, because, you know. Yeah, put that down. Put, put this card down. <laughs> you know, this card should have been limited freaking as soon as it was revealed, this, they should have put this amount this is limited. I won because this card is dumb. So many duels won with, you know, me and my tag partner, you know, pull, busting out multiple notices or, you know, our opponents doing the same. Just, you know, three notices, that's terrible. When you can tag duel six notices, like, oh yeah, I'll pay 1500 you know. Sure, you got 16,000 life points, but I'm stopping six of your plays, including Solemn Warning. It's just like, no, ridiculous. So. Uh, just so much. You know, this is just too dumb, you know. Hopefully they go ahead and put it back down to one. Put it, put it back down to one. <laughs> yeah, put it back down to one. It's never been to one, but put it back down to one. Like, I don't want to hear it. What do you mean it was never at one? No, it was. It was. It has to be. You know, put notice to one. And then my favorite trap card, and uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to run this deck with back row despite being a type deck in comparison to just, you know, me being like, oh, Road to Cree, let's hate the back row and tag up together and just use strength of monsters. Chaser is so good. I love this card. Yeah. You know, activate by targeting a synchro monster. It can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects. You literally turn any synchro monster into a Beals. Like, ugh, that's so good. So good. And especially when you just plop it down a freaking clearing. For the majority of the time, how do they do? How do people do with the Beals? They're going to, you know, cast Ellie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear wing and protect myself from being targeted. Damn. So, just clear, you know, clear wing with chasing wings is just so good. So good. No other effect where, you know, at the end of the this card battles and post monster level 5 or higher. Uh, you destroy that monster. And if you do, you, uh, the battling monster gains the attack. It's kind of like, yeah. You know, like, that's not what I'm about. I'm just already that, you know, being able to just target one of my synchro monsters. Any synchro monster. Doesn't even specify that it has to be clear wing. No. Any synchro monster and turn into a build. It's just so great. Uh, I was debating on the consistency, but you know, if, if you can pull off some synchro monster consistency, then this card won't be dead. So I love this card so much that I just love it. I love it. It's, that's like one of the reasons, so major reasons why I was excited to play this deck, just because I can bust out uh, this card. And I would totally recommend it for almost any deck that runs a synchro deck. It just doesn't have to be, just because it's chasing doesn't mean that it has to be for clearing. It can be for any synchro monster, and that plays just good. 
But after that, of course, the two Northerns go with the Insta Fusions for revival plays just so good. Uh, then two Castell, like I said, I was running another level 4 monster that Menko guy that was blocked attack, but I took him out recently. I put this in, I wanted to try it out, but then of course this deck got taken off. So, uh, the, the changes are new, but hey, you know, like I said, you guys can go ahead and pick the deck and make the changes and do your plays. So, uh, really the only level 4 is double yo-yo, so it's not the most consistent play, but still. Uh, if you're gonna run node and then you're like, oh, I don't, I don't see, just, just run one cast out. Just run one. Run ca one cast out. Because it's good to have them. And in case of emergency, you can go ahead and slap that cast out button. And you would regret it if you go off that play and you don't have them. Uh, old entity Haster, uh, level 4 synchro. This deck does do level 4 synchro. I know that they have a level 4 synchro, the, the ninja guy who goes when he's battled, so some monster goes 26. I didn't, I didn't get to play him, obviously, so. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna run that and old entity Haster, so I guess you could go ahead and switch him out for that. And I, uh, the high speed Kan Chan Bar Rider, I don't know. Uh, this guy's a sword guy, double attack, uh, so the attacks go to 22, then the attacks again goes to 24. He's not bad. I uh, stopped using him as much, uh, just I was doing more upper level plays like bust out the clearing, but you know, it's still nice to have one. Armadies, too, you know, if there's any, uh, Level 5 synchro, it's Armadies. Even Armadies even took o took over uh, Catastrophe's job. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'd rather run Armadies over Catastrophe. Uh, Kandama, I don't think I really went into him, but he's okay. Uh, the Banishing to Mimsplay 500, I generally don't like that play, but the whole, this card's in your graveyard and you control no cards at all, you can special summon him so he can kind of be like a pseudo wall or at least, uh, uh, something. Like I said, I don't bust him out that often, but he's a speed run and you have him just in case. Uh, I definitely recommend if you have the space to run Nothong too. Since Nothong in games, I, I wasn't running them, but you could. I would, I'd probably just fill up my extra deck with you know, Norden and Castell, so I'd probably take out Castell and put him in. Uh, Goyo, the go 2 6, of course. <coughs> Black Rose, I generally don't want a Black Rose build, but if need be, I'll select that emergency Black Rose button. Uh, Moonlight's really good as well, and would just bounce back a, a monster that was kind of like a, a pseudo compulse. Uh, it, it's, it's done its work, it's done its job a couple times. Uh, my two clearing clearing is my favorite synchro monster up in here, and you go is my favorite character in this the anime. So being able to bust out that uh, clearing and uh, use the power of clearing uh, to not only block all fives or hives, which is just great in mirror match and you know against other synchro decks or fusion decks, but also when this card is targeted, you can just go ahead and be like, nah, and then you die in the game of your attack. So it's just great play, great with chasing, it's just so good. Uh, of course, Trishula because that can trish you uh, before. Uh, the gateway drug here, this deck would just trish you all the damn time. It would just be like, you know, special summon, special summon, normal summon, uh, or normal summon, you know, and just tr hit you with the trish, so. Uh, trish is, of course, an enabler drug, and it's just so good. And then, last but not least, the card I didn't get to play, and I was so excited to play, and my favorite character anime got, is gonna bust it out, and it's just weird that this deck was revealed as a card before it even showed up in the anime, because of you know, that one week gap uh, that they took a break from on the anime. You got that the gateway drug. You are we already doing speed. Now we're taking to the next level, people. This is crystal. Yep, the crystal from speed to crystal. You you jumped. You jumped. Like damn, could you at least get fucking you know heroin heroin synchro dragon? You jumped all the way up to crystal. <laughs> anyway, uh, crystal wing is just so good. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do the card review on it for you know tomorrow. So I'm not. I don't want to go into too much detail, but uh, he's just really good. He's really good. Uh, and uh, this deck. It's just been getting so much popularity just because this deck is, can easily bust this guy out. And, you know, is it worth busting out? Most definitely. Most definitely. Like I said, it's debatable on which deck, uh, which one's strong because this is more of an offensive play, but this is more of a defensive play. But, you know, Crystal Wing, Clear Wing, you're both so good. And I had a lot of fun with this deck. So there you go. There's the deck profile for uh, Speed and Steroids. They said, and now you get to go ahead and use Crystal as well. It's just, ugh, drugs are too real. So, uh, like I said, if you guys want to go ahead and vote this deck back, from January to February, so we can go ahead and play the new Spirit Ride monsters that were just recently built. And it's just so inconvenient that it just, it just keeps happening. I wonder if every single deck profile that we do is just gonna get more and more cards. Like, you know, I'm gonna be doing the deck profile for Cosmos uh, tomorrow, and then just go, like, hey, look, more, more, more new Cosmos. It's just like, oh my god. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with another deck profile of Cosmos and, you know, more deck profiles for the rest of the week. Alright, people, thanks for watching.